Hello and welcome back to Phoenix Point. We're back at base. Or at least we should be. Uh, we are. And, uh... Scan is complete, apparently, over here. So there's nothing else? Nothing... No other point of interest for us to consider? I don't think we need more than three scanners. But at the same time... I'm a little hesitant to make, uh... Just an energy generator... For not much reason, actually. And I don't think this is ever gonna be useful. I would like to make more bases. I'm not sure how we can do that. Excess lift. I mean, we can d demolish it. Or we can just consider putting in stuff that doesn't take as much power. Training facility is not something I'm, I'm too keen on. So, I mean, research lab would be nice. Oh, wait. It's spreading. Huh. This probably means... It's gonna reach my base eventually. But not only that... Uh, it affects how difficult these encounters are gonna be, most likely. You can still heal a little bit here. Uh, let's look at the personnel. Empty item slots. It's because I, I wanted to use guns uh, and uh, grenades, but it turned out grenades take forever to make, so we're not using that. But this is actually instant, so they made the, the steam pack instant. Wait, what? I can sell it? Drag here to scrap? No, I'm not gonna scrap it. If anything, I want more. More and more heals. Because it's instant. Yeah, that's fine. We can actually make a shotgun too. But, uh... I can't wait. Maybe we go over here. Get into a mission. And also scan. Let's do an area scan. And explore. And we can also go over there. Manticore One has landed in the remains of a gated community. Judging from the design, this place was built in the early days of the Second Mist. When the upper classes abandoned the cities, the place seems to be relatively in good shape. It's somewhat overgrown, perhaps there are survivors? Investigate that! No, we got some tech. It's, it's fine. Uh, well, check, check this out. No, we're not area scanning. It's a scavenging site. Warning, scavenging missions are much more dangerous if we're in a miss zone. Let's do it. Okay, let's deploy the squad. Uh, so maybe what we should consider doing is just ignoring the mist as much as possible and uh, getting some easy supplies. If anything, what I would want the most is getting a base. But maybe I can't actually get a base. Maybe we have to overtake a base. Is that a tank? That we have to overtake a base and who should who should we attack who can we attack because first of all which faction i'm going to kind of abandon i don't like really either of them really <laughs> i want to get with uh the guys who are like fuck everything bullshit let's just kill aliens i'm like yeah <laughs> i'm on board with that when moving next to a wall or high object, your soldiers will stand ready to step to the side in order to shoot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a cover is still good, because if you're in cover, your opponent, your your guys are still going to step out and shoot, so without losing action points. 
but uh, you definitely need to be more concerned about uh, you know just area that that kind of surface area that blocks you and angles. Okay then. So apparently this is a very dangerous scavenging mission, and it's uh, and it's dark as well. I don't know if that affects the perception range. It might. Um, seemingly it doesn't, or it doesn't say in the stats. So we have Fred. We can get in a little closer. Well, what we know about that. Let's take it out. We can snipe it, right? We got a Hellion cannon here. Right there. Okay. Aiming. Oh man, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the Hellion cannon on the assault. Decent shot. Here. Of course, we deal extra damage as well. With the Hellion Cannon. That certainly makes it easier to justify. So we can get a little closer. Moving now. Targeting. I'd shoot at the head, mostly. And we have Bernardo, director O'Higgins. Let's do this. And get closer, and maybe just just snoop around. Uh, get a little closer Let's with the sniper, this. and just. Uh, Try to cover a big area. I'm ready. And the heavy finally just gets close. Anything over there? No. If anything, I probably should just go that way. And not go much farther than that for now. We might fly in. Oh, they're going for the boxes, so... Oh my god. There's a box over there. Two boxes in the building. Is this a box? I think it is. Three boxes outside. Five boxes outside. So... I should just stay outside. Steving, loud because and clear. this is where the stuff is. Enemy in visual range. We have a uh, Artron using a machine gun, then shield. A pretty common loadout they like to use. Channel open. Can we take it Firing out? Target. We can make a shot on him. He also doesn't know about us. Uh, I guess we're Moving gonna now. come closer. And... Moving now. I don't really wanna... warn all the enemies here. This guy's kinda easy to hit now. So I guess we're just gonna spam him. Saving. Loud and clear. Ready to fire. Sure. Moving to position. What's our move? Um. Let's go. Okay. Just very slowly, very carefully, uh, try to play this. Hell cannon. I mean, she's pretty tanky. Let's just go over there. Alright, 
don't think we're gonna lose that. I prefer to fight in the open. So if we not lose any HP and get five containers, or maybe not loot, maybe that, that's a little optimistic, but like not die at least. I definitely prefer that. And they're shielding in my direction. We have a heavy here. But we won't be able to go for a good shot. I mean, it might work. It's not a terrible shot. And he lost 40 armor. We, we hit his shield. And now he's exposed to be shot at by other... Pushing on. Assaults. Just try to get into range. Acquiring and target. Get good angle. That should be good enough. I mean, that's a decent shot. Isn't it? I think he's gonna die to the bleed, uh, regardless. Here. Sure. We got a heavy. We got an assault. Uh, getting this guy is not that easy. If anything, I could just... Oh. Oh, we don't have a dash with him. Okay. Here. Uh, well, we can make a shot, Aiming. but... Um, it's not hopeless. <laughs> that's not saying much. Preparing to fire. Oh shit, that's actually a worse... Uh, position. I guess we're just gonna go back because uh, we don't have much of a choice here. Uh, take it. He lost his shield that has a lot of health. Um, that's fine because now I can close in on him. No, we can't. He doesn't have a dash. But maybe just uh, regular spam. Gotcha. I think that's gonna be fine. I shouldn't be too concerned. Ah, uh, let's just let's just kill the guy. Uh, with a pistol, maybe. Pistol again. Pistol again. Never mind that. I should have used my sniper. But we know about one more in the building. Oh, two more. The shield guys are not that crazy. But he was, uh, confused, so. Not that crazy. Uh, and he's gonna die to a bleed, so we're good. But at the same time... Uh, yeah. Wow. I can't really... I'm ready. ...get her. Okay, uh, can we just Moving go out. over there? Preparing to fire. Make a shot. I mean, this is a very low percentage shot. Uh, we can dash. Okay, let's dash over there. We can dash over here. And now use the heavy weapon. Not perfect, but... It's not bad. Especially with the bonus damage. So, the assault can move around a little bit. Target in sight. Okay, 
This guy's not paying attention at all. Not not this one. Wow, that is uh maybe one. Maybe I mean, we can't kill him. <laughs> not inside. At least not not this term. Leaving loud and clear. Okay, let's switch to the sniper. Uh, we can move two. Moving to position. Tiles, two two squares here. I mean, I don't know. Two action points worth of movement. Let's go with that. And uh, set up the Overwatch on him. So if he just tries cover. to rush in, we're gonna get him. And that's to the bleeds. I like that. Oh crap! He wants to destroy the other box. My work. And he's shielding in the right direction. What a jerk. Well, to be fair, the plan is kind of working. But I got a little greedy and I want six instead of five. points of free I, mean, I, I would rather just lose that instead of uh, getting hit running it's just so far away is there a way to get an angle on him so we can get closer it's super unlikely no it's not gonna work I'm on overwatch Okay, so getting closer. We don't have a dash with the director. And in Fredno. Uh, I just got close. Cameron Dragon Beards. Um. She's the only one that has the potential to even see this guy I'm not sure like can we see it from here no I mean we might just come over here we can do a dash let's go over there he's gonna be dead next turn but that's it He just wants to destroy the box. Oh, he missed in the box. Oh, he's shielding still. <laughs> Why you gotta bait me like that? Oh shit, there's a face hugger there. I fucking hate rushing in this game. I'm ready. Can we see the face hugger? our move I can maybe fly next to the face hugger no, I can't I can run next to the face hugger wait one two three four okay run next to the face hugger questionable decision I know wait what um one sixty five damage Okay, not bad. So, let's do a dash. I'm not exactly sure where. Maybe over here? Hey there. Oh, that cancelled my dash. But he's uh, shielding in the wrong direction. Uh, that's his Serapis. That's his leg. Wait, I can shoot at his arm? Shooting at his leg is probably sensible. Oh, this arm and his leg. Oh, he's not loving it. Oh my god. Firing back. You can just punch me in the face, but maybe it's. Oh shit! 
No, no, we can sh Can we fire? Out of ammo. So I guess bash is the... the best. <gasps> Only 11 damage. And he's dazed. Good enough. <laughs> Scavenging site! Oh, look at that! Director leveled up! Go to Geoscape. Wow. We can still research a fast way. Maybe I should just be a total deck. <laughs> but, I mean, that's probably. That's what the game wants me to be. The game wants me to maybe like throw my hat in with one faction. And, uh, at least it kind of feels like that way. Maybe that's the only way possible, in the first place. Damage inflicted on missed sentinels is increased by 20- uh, 15%. I mean, okay. Sure, an autopsy. But that's just a bonus. We- we get something else. That's the bonus effect. Okay, let's just keep going for that. I don't know if you need those pistols uh, researched. Uh, yeah. We can go back a little bit. Back to base. Uh, just look at the personnel. Equipment. Can't carry that. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of, of this uh, finicky setup. I mean, I, I do like it to an extent, but... Oh crap. Bernando Director O'Higgins. Oh, what? He has access to snipers now? And he can dash with snipers and return fire. Oh. A direct fire, projectile weapon with proficiency, and the uh, enemy is within half perception range. We can just do sniper. I mean, he's gonna be a sniper, but in order for that to uh, be a tank... Actually, never mind that. I think I already have an extra sniper. Yeah, I do. Because I have a, a sniper that I want to give the sniper to, but, you know, at this point, screw that. We have an assault who's gonna be a... Wait. How heavy is the sniper rifle? It's weight of four. Okay, let's go sniper training. I do like dash. Let's do sniper training. Do I want the sniper rifles? I think the sniper rifles are really good. So, let's go sniper training. Uh, this actually drops our real power to 2. So we can't use dash anymore. In order to actually use dash, we will need to up our real power. But, let's not even go for dash right now. What we can do is just say that, you know, I just want strength. And um, strength, what allows us to do is to put in the sniper and the assault rifle at the same time and maybe even bring some ammo for the sniper so we can use both pretty cool although we did lose some willpower and I think it would make more sense if we had a shotgun in addition to it because currently it's like long range plus medium ranged and it would be better if like long range and short ranged it's not bad. But uh, there's room for improvement. So I would like to manufacture a sniper. What's a Mer Mercy SG3? That's a Phoenix shotgun. Okay, that's what I want. And a grenade launcher. Uh, I don't really want that. But uh, according to the Phoenixopedia, the blast damage deals damage to all the parts, so heads, 
All the parts that are cut within the blast, but only deals damage to the highest one. Uh, only deals health damage based on the highest damage. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good way to damage enemies' parts. Holding grenade is just takes too long. I don't know. Banshee body armor. Okay. Yeah, we need to rest a little bit. Also, the person... Fred. We got Fred here. I mean, it would be so much better if Fred wasn't just, uh, hey, let's just use heavy guns, but also uh, she had access to like uh, an assault rifle. I mean, imagine that. I would like that a lot. That would actually make more sense than the sniper bringing the assault rifle. I need an assault rifle. But I feel like we just manufacture a bunch of crappy guns and eventually gonna get uh, obsolete. Uh, let's just rest a little bit here, back at the base. And then we head out. Scan complete. So we already explored that. We can consider picking up guys. But, no. Okay, another mist. What about the bases? Am I supposed to raid the bases? Okay, let's look at diplomacy. We have... Uh, New Jericho. Sabotage the Sinedrion Haven Target Research Center. What the fuck? Sabotage Sinedrion, Sinedrion Haven uh, Target Food Production. Really? Sabotage New Jericho Haven Target Factory. Holy shit, you guys are total dicks. They all want me to sabotage the other factions. <laughs> And so far, they like me the most. Synedrion Council. They both want me to fuck with Synedrion. I mean, if we want one faction, the Synedrion likes me the most. Disciples of Anu. Uh, and basically, New Jericho is about tied. They like me the most by far. <laughs> but, okay, not too much by far. New Jericho Haven, Target Factory. What we also may need to consider... The Synedrion is bloody everywhere. So we got five Synedrion. We got uh, two New Jericho. And only one Disciples of Anu. So I think throwing my head in with the uh, Synedrion is just a smart call. And we need to attack New Jericho for that. New recruits available at Haven. <laughs> oh my god. We're getting the new guy. Wait, what? Havart, Hot Pine, uh, Ranger guy, military strength. Can we sabotage their factory? <clears throat> How hard is this? Their population is shrinking. They're gonna be dead soon. I mean, we're like, I'm, I'm kind of doing you guys a favor, right? Friendly 16. I think these individuals, havens, have individual, in, individual, individual, for some reason I can't talk. Uh, affinity, whatever. Uh, we can just sabotage New Jericho. Really? That's what you guys want? All the factions? No one! No one wants me to fuck over the aliens? Not one person? Really? And what are we gonna get here? Not one person wants me to fuck over the aliens. Unbelievable. Can we make this a base? Recruit available at Haven. <laughs> oh my god. Operate. Operating range? 
I think you can take over bases. One thousand three hundred twenty. I think that's how you get bases. Do we have an operating range? Because there's no way to get bases, from what I can tell. And these are very obvious bases. We could just go for unexplored sites, I mean. But the game wants me to just fight others. So do we just fight New Jericho? I think we do. New Jericho. Uh, actually, we need to take the mission first. It's ongoing. But actually, two of them want me to fuck over the Synedrium. But they are actually can't even like decide on what should I fuck over. Research center, food production, and this is the factory. Uh, does it matter which one? New Jericho Haven, factory. Um, let's move there. I'm, I came to fuck over the factory. We can raid the factory. Let's do that. Factory zones contribute to repair and construction of new zones. Contribute support to allied havens within influence range. New Jericho's heavily concreted factory zones are regarded as key assets. Okay. I don't think the guy will want to join me after this. We can sabotage the factory. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Do I need to raid it or sabotage it? We need to sabotage it. What? Why not just take it? I'm, I'm supposed to sabotage it. And this gives me attitude <laughs> change on victory. I just sabotage it? Are you kidding me? Threat level high. Okay, so, uh, of course. Taking their factory is a little bit more difficult than fucking it over, which just makes no sense. I'm tempted to roleplay this game. So, we don't get with any factions. We just like, you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going with any factions. I was just gonna kick some alien butt here. I wonder if it's possible and viable. Never forget to equip additional magazines for your troops. Having your soldier run out of ammo during a mission can render them useless on the field. Yeah, I just wish Kanai was a little automated. Feel like I'm the Sarge who like telling the soldiers like, Oi, Billy, don't forget to take a shit before a mission. It's like, oh! Also, bring a weapon! Oh, oh, got it, Serge! It's like, come on. I'm not that, I'm the commander! Okay. Key structure damage is... damage is 0%. Uh, where are the key structures? Over here. Oh, shit. I'm the one who has to be the dick and destroy the key structures. Channel open. Okay. I'm ready. So we got two snipers. Cameron. Moving now. Have we spotted anybody? We have not. Let's just be safe. Channel open. We see anybody? They're dead. Just go over. Okay. Let's just snipe. Enter. Target missed. I see you. Oh, using dash. Wait, he used dash twice. 
Can you use dash twice? I never tried it. Receiving loud and clear. I guess you might be able to. What's our plan? Okay. Ready to fire. I see that. Oh. Okay, he took a lot of damage. If he can Moving to go position. back behind the truck, that might be helpful. Uh, we know about at least two guys. Oh, we got a hell cannon here. That's why I'm a little bit tempted to dash. So we dash over here. We shoot this guy in the face. Oh shit, he's so dead. Um, I'm sorry about this. Kill confirmed. We still have some movement left. Can Let's do move this. over. We see somebody. Can we take a decent shot? Nah. I don't think we're gonna get a better shot. So we still have the sniper. Okay, that is a long climb. Moving. Oh yeah, we can dash again. We can just keep dashing. Okay. I didn't realize that. But that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we can't go way too far. We can go over here. If I if I want to just uh, overwatch, we can come over here. Can I cover both of them? I'm on Let's do that. And we still got a heavy. There's not much we can do with him. I can shout at people so they lose action points. It might be possible. Oh, no, no, this is different. All enemies within 10 tiles have their action points reduced to 2 for their next turn. If it was by 2, holy shit. You make everyone lose their turn. If you use uh, 6 uh, willpower. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's not as OP. Although, even then, it would be a very costly ability. Uh, we can't go in there. There's not much I can do. Maybe if he rushes out, then we kill him, but I'm not sure what to do here. I'll keep my eyes open. So, yeah, that's the plan for now. <clears throat> oh shit, that's sniper too. Ready to fight. Oh, oh one less to worry. To fight. The fuck was that? It dealt 50 damage. What kind of rifle are you using? So that's a... That's an assault. New Jericho Gauss Assault Rifle. It's, it deals 160. 4 times 40 damage. With, for 2 action points. I like that. The effective 20 range. It does seem like a better gun than I'm using. Receiving. Loud and let's, clear. let's just check. Um, yeah, this deals potentially 180 damage. But, uh, and it has higher effective range. I think this, yeah, this is better. Strictly because of the range. But his definitely look better now. Okay. Channel open. 
We can take a shot. Is this gonna be a kill? I don't think so. We can do a... A quick shot. Do I have the willpower for it? Ready to fire. So it's also gotta be more accurate. <laughs> we can do double quick aim. Targeting. And he's just dead. Wait, what? <laughs> we destroyed the gun! Your gun saved you! What a bastard. Okay, so we can dash in. Oh no. Let's do that later. Can we? Moving yeah. now. We can see one of them. Oh shit. If possible, shoot at the the sniper guy. I need to rush. Let's do a, a dash. No rest for the wicked. Dash into dash into dash. Then do another dash. Pushing on. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. We crossed half the map. Wait, what? How many enemies we got here? Oh no, this is the... Oh, this is the structure that we need to d damage. Not, not shoot at that. No, who cares? The guy needs to die. Let's dash again. Targeting. Yeah. That's the whole Took point. Down. I guess you're gonna shoot at the key structures. Am I really supposed to shoot at it? I think the main point that you actually have to do it is that uh, it takes time and maybe reinforcements show up. Aiming. Fine. What else we got? It would really suck if I'm just shooting at these machines and I get killed by reinforcements. So it's like, hey, what's up? We were waiting for you to be distracted. Wait, what? Seems like you're aiming badly. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I'm out of action points, that is true. I still have more to destroy. Moving. I'm um, sure. I guess punching it wouldn't be very effective. I'm ready. I just got closer. Hell cannon seems to be decent Amen. for this job. Uh, not that one. Why am I doing this? It just feels wrong. So I'm just fucking with humans. Okay, another shot, please. While the enemies are the aliens. We good now? What is the point of this faction? Why? Why would I hurt humanity? I know that you don't agree with this faction, but it just feels wrong. I'm just messing with humans. Well, the deadly mist is like 10 minutes away, about to kill everybody. And that's what the factions care about? Fucking with other factions? Oh crap, we got some items. What is that? Oh, this is like a... Deceptor minigun. Um, okay, so it's like 480 damage. But it, it well, it's actually, it looks pretty damn good. Effective range of 9? <laughs> That's not good. At all. I mean, what's the point? I feel dirty now. 
I just fucked with these guys and for no reason whatsoever. Good job. You, you seem, seem to be genuinely on our side. I'm not. And everyone here at Synedrion really appreciates that. Please understand that we are cautious with organizations such as the Phoenix Project, not because we're trying to be obstinate, but because we've had some pretty terrible experiences that we'd prefer not to repeat. You know that I have high hopes for an alliance between the Phoenix Project and Synedrion. So my advice is this. What would be really helpful right now would be a more direct demonstration of your support. That could really win some hearts and minds. The fuck are you talking about? You seem... You just pretend to be all high and mighty, but like... You just... This is bullshit. I just basically clubbed a bunch of... Uh, baby... Uh, seals for you while holding a baby. I mean, this is not good. I don't like you guys. You know what? I would be the no faction. I mean, I was kind of hoping to maybe get convinced while I'm doing this mission that this was somehow justified. I don't know what they're doing here. Maybe they're still making some... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What, what could that be? <laughs> what could they be manufacturing that would justify this? Maybe they're doing the shake weight production here, like full on in the apocalypse. And, you know, come on, get your priorities in order. Like, you know, you can't just have a factory dedicated to that shit. But, short of that, what the fuck? I, I can't think of anything. Even even if so, the factory is a, it's a really good resource. This is just very short-sighted and stupid. Miss At this moment, we have a couple of really important projects running. The sort that could actually change the future. Like improving our mist repelling tech, which may allow us to peacefully coexist with the new ecology. Or deploying a new breed of modified plant to help us reclaim the planet for ourselves. Believe me when I say we've had a lot of debates about which approach is better. And there are some pretty opinionated factions forming. In any case, we're lacking enough people to support both projects at once. And it's a bit of a deadlock. So if you could lend a hand with one of them, that would mean a lot. Wrist repelmers could help humanity regain its balance. The plant is ours and we should take direct control of its ecosystems. Hmm. I think both sounds okay, but... Are you just pulling my leg here? Why the fuck would you ask me? Are you guys really gonna do what I say? I fucking doubt it. You just make me feel important here, huh? I feel like I'm... I'm, I'm feeling out the complaint for it after like, uh... You know, like, uh, after asking for the manager and... They told me like, oh! Oh, yeah! Uh, here's a complaint for him here. Uh, just, just fill it out. It only takes five minutes, then you can deposit it straight into the garbage. No, what the fuck? I'm not buying this shit. You're just taking me for a fool here. I mean, both could be de decent. I mean, I would like to... Move more. I mean, I'm not an idiot. If you just give me more information here... I mean, I could, then there's more to go about it. I'm not like, not like some sheep, like, you know, it was like... I don't know, like, when you see, like, politics, it's like, STUFF! Other, other party says, STUFF TOO! And like, yeah! No, no, look into the shit! But of course, if you, if you look into it, there's just nothing there. So, I mean... Uh, so, I don't know. And it doesn't really matter, because it would be up. Never mind, not talking about that. My point is, I mean, I wouldn't mind some details here, you know? So, that would be a real decision, if this decision wasn't completely pointless in the first place, which obviously it is, because... <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, I, I, but somehow, if I'm just ignoring the RP, I feel like this might actually affect my tech eventually, especially if I continue with this faction that I really don't like. <clears throat> the plant is ours, we should uh, take direct control of its ecosystem, because it seems like Mr. Palmer is about slowing down 
like just trying to hold on to what we got for now, which which could be a really good choice, you know, like because if we gain time, that's really good. The plan is ours. We should take direct control of its ecosystems. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's that seems more long term. I I like the Mr. Palmer idea more because currently it's about not getting murdered by the mist first then taking back the earth you know but first we don't have as much as many humans to you know just need the whole earth you know we don't need that to just we just need enough to not die you know so i think mr palmer could re help you humanity regain its balance but it's not about some lofty ideals here of the coexisting with zombies it's not about that it's just short term uh, what could be better and long term what could be better and how viable it is what the fuck <laughs> these people are crazy you know what I'm, I want to get fully on board with the people like let's just become machines you know I mean, they might have the right idea, because, you know, this is a very hostile environment, and if you can, you know, just modify your body in a way, ah, uh, that seems a bit of like a stretch, but, <clears throat> you know, but that might help, you know, I don't fucking know. I don't know what, they seem crazy too. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'd, I'd just say, like, the plan is ours. So, you're more on Nikolai's side of this debate, are you? He's one of the terraformers. The faction that believes in, well, I suppose you could call them radical humanists. They believe we should be unafraid to seize power for the people, to assert the supreme value of human life and civilization. Zara, on the other hand, oh dear, I'm involving you in Synedrian drama, aren't I? My apologies. Good luck with the mission. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm fully on board with this whole, yeah, let's kumbaya, let's, everyone's voice matters, whatever. There's a time and place for that. I fully agree with this. This is good stuff. But this is not the time and place. And this is just a massive circle jerk while the world is dying, you know? This is, there's a reason, although I'm kind of hesitant to admit it, but there's a reason why, you know, like certain uh, organizations, like for example, military, have direct hierarchies, because like, get shit done, because you do what I say, let's go, because you don't have a, a time to like, have a fucking debate when you're getting shot in the face, it's about, fuck yeah, let's do, do stuff, because it just needs to happen, and I, I don't like that too much, but I understand that it's, it's just, it just has to happen, and, and if I was getting shot, I would learn to love that real quick. Because, you know, there's so much better that, you know, you, you make a decision fast and just, just go with it. But of course, you know, when it comes to, like, long-term, long-term decisions, you gotta a little bit think about it. But what the fuck? Like, I can't really get over the fact that you made me, uh, s smash a factory. That's bullshit. And you're, like, acting like, oh, what's good for the earth? No! Fuck this! Oh my god, I hate you guys. Biogenesis? locate mission so I need to wait what seven dice synedrion haven the the good news here if I if I went with these factions then it's possible that we could have uh, gained favor with both of them because now I could have just done sabotage synedrion haven and sabotage uh, synedrion haven whatever twice and fuck over synedrions to be fair these are look like the the sucker democracy types this is the the crazy uh, loony religious types with some stupid hierarchy, and this is the researchy types with like uh, wait no New Jericho I don't know there's like uh, there's like the bio bio mech whatever <laughs> faction whatever research we have access to. Uh, reverse Engineer, the Cyclops SR7 sniper rifle. This is from New Jericho, so we found their gun, <laughs> and now we can reverse engineer it. But I could just be a dick to all factions. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Personnel? Um, yeah, I mean, we can just set this up a little bit. So we got ammo. Uh, do we have the training? Yeah, we have 50 XP. 
Monster Marksman. Accuracy with proficient weapon is increased by 50% while there are no spotted enemies within 10 tiles. That's massive for a sniper. I mean, obviously, he's a sniper. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's do that. Uh, we have access to two shots with the special quick aim. We have enough speed to move around 16 tiles. And these give us uh, accuracy, which I really like. Actually, I'm I, I'm kind of thinking that maybe this is the best armor in the game. Because accuracy, I mean, you just cannot take hits. I'm, I'm a little bit like, you know, I've, I either have a tank who can maybe take hits, or I either have guys who, you know, just shoot people. So, and strength. Do we just go strength? Because strength is just okay. Disabling a body part also removes that body part's armor. We don't really need strength. We don't really need willpower either here. I mean, it would just take a, take us too much. I can go biochemist to also do viral damage. Let's see about the strength. Actually, we can take strength and just uh, keep carrying around a bunch of uh, medkits. That's fine by me. So let's bring these suckers. And uh, maybe we bring a pistol ammo too. Wait, can I use their... Can I just use the Cyclops SR7? So this one deals 110 damage with effective range of 58. Uh, action point is the same. Hands to use ammo cap. Okay. This one has a, a lower effective range. But deals more damage. I think the lower effective range doesn't matter too much. The fact that it deals almost 20% more damage and it has like 15% less eff uh, effective range. I think this seems like a good deal. Uh, I'm encumbered? No, 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 that's fine. I think this is a better sniper. And now we have an extra sniper. Wow. So I don't really have to produce everything. Uh, we are very slowly getting gear for this uh, this guy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna use a pistol. Uh, we're gonna use that. We're gonna have a med kit. Hopefully, we don't have one right now, but we should definitely get one. Uh, let's do the manufacturing. I like that it's instant. Uh, I like the grenade. Which I also very much like, but uh, God damn it, I can't can't get it. Oh shit, what's what's wrong here? Nikita, we have soldier RP. Yeah, we can use a sniper with him. Can we really fit in a sniper? I think we should. Although maybe not right now. Oh my god. So we got Eric, the sniper. He is perfectly suited and perfectly set up. Uh, we got Fred, who has a bunch of stuff. He can reloading and inventory actions do not cost any action. I don't know if I value that. I mean, it, for 20 points, it's probably... It's kind of worth picking up. But, you know, would you have this? Or would you have an extra uh, medkit, for example? We can also just pick up more willpower and keep dashing in. But at that point, I might be like, you know, you know what would be cool? Having a secondary weapon. Something like that. And this way, if we can just pick up a secondary weapon, but we can't right now. New Gauss machine gun, but this has even lower range. We just need more guns. As long as we get more guns, we're gonna be in a great spot. Training. Uh, who still has SP? So we kind of find equipment wise. 
uh, Edge Mobius Maverick only needs an armor. How close are we? Very damn close. I think we should just go back home. Are we going back home? We're going back home. So we're going to go back to Phoenix Point. We're going to wait a little bit. We're going to get the armor. Locate mission. What? That's pretty far away. Why not another planet? Why not just go for a Morse mission? I'm pretty sure it would be good for morale of humanity, right? Who cares about the pesky aliens when you can just go to Mars? Let's, let's do the manufacturing, that's what I'm waiting for. Okay. Manufacturing finished, now we're doing the Scarab. But let's just look at personnel. We got Mobius, the new sniper uh, gal. And she is just sufficiently set up. Uh, let's not oversell this. Uh, we have a, a heals for her. Also, it's I think it's possible to hide helmets. But, you know, but that's only temporary and you can uh, just recolor the soldiers if you want to. So, Mobius is set up. Uh, Bernardo... What? Okay, we just wanna take that. Wait, I can take a, an assault rifle? Yeah, th he's an assault. We're gonna use a assault rifle plus sniper rifle. Yeah, I could really use an assault rifle here as well. So, or a shotgun. Oh no, no, not not shotgun with this. I would like to make a shotgun. Are we making a shotgun? Yeah, I want to make a mercy shotgun. Let's make it before the scarab. Oh my god! It's gonna be the end of the playthrough. Like, when are you gonna make a fucking vehicle? The vehicle is awesome. We should make one. <laughs> But like, I can't make it before we we have soldiers with guns, I think. Or maybe maybe I can't, I don't know. <laughs> I think I can't. Living quarters. Can I disable something? Actually, I can disable the med bay. I can make a, a research lab. I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to justify. Also, we're not gonna have... Okay, fine. I wanna make a research lab, but... Like, how will I run it? I don't have the power. So, in order to make a research lab, we also need to make a... A power station. Energy generator. And that would cost us 550. That we don't have. We just don't have that much. At any rate, uh, I guess that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.